The city's $2.7 billion pension crisis is on the table again. The city and the unions representing city employees, like police and firefighters, they are again trying to work out a deal that would change the pension plan. This time, it looks like the city is bending somewhat on their latest offer. Channel Force Jim Piggott joining us live downtown, looking at what's changed and how it could affect us. Jim. Well, here at FOP headquarters, they're done negotiating today. There was a lot of give and talk going back and forth. A lot of people wondering, you know, why is this pension talks? Why are these so important? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Number one, remember that half cent tax we voted in. Well, they have to get through these talks and get things approved before that would take effect. And number two, the unions say it would affect the quality and the caliber of the people that they hire to protect us. There's nothing simple about contract talks when it comes to pensions. City leaders say it's the biggest financial problem facing them, one that, that could bankrupt the city. So they believe these negotiations are critical. As it stands now, the city is offering police and firefighters a 3% bonus, a 20% pay raise over three years, and current employees would increase their contributions to the current pension plan. New employees would receive a 401k with a 25% contribution from the city. Right now, it seems the city and unions are edging closer to reaching a deal. No, I, I want to be clear of what we are. We have not had an agreement on exi uh, future employees. What that is, we don't know yet, but we have not come to an agreement on future employees. The 401k plan is something the union says is unpredictable. They would rather see new employees join the Florida retirement system, the FRS. The mayor has said no to that, and now a recent bill filed by state representative Jason Fisher would shut down that option altogether. The city stressed today that the mayor had nothing to do with that. And to be quite frank with you, I really don't want to discuss waste my time talking about Jason Fisher or FRS because it's not on the table. What's on the table is a plan that would allow new employees to take part in an additional program that along with the 401k would allow them a guaranteed amount when they retire. Something else that came up today here at the police union is body cameras. That was one thing that was put on the table. The union here wants to have some say in the procedures that would happen with all of that. They brought that up, and right now the sheriff is saying he hopes that, uh, you know, that they can work out some type of agreement because he'd like to see those body cameras come into play in April. We're live on the south side, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.